Hello students, in this lesson we will discuss Kruskal-Wallis test. Kruskal-Wallis test can be considered as a non-parametric alternative to one-way ANOVA. So uh, in one-way ANOVA we have uh, groups and we have to check whether these groups are different, different or not for some criteria. For example, we have collected samples, uh, three sam uh, data for three samples for three groups. And these are three income groups, say low, medium, high. And for these income groups, we have calculated the level of satisfaction. Okay, income level uh, low, medium, and high. And in each case, we have calculated the satisfaction level. So to check the difference, whether a difference exists between uh, any of two groups, we may conduct, we may go for the one-way ANOVA. However, there are some conditions. Uh, for doing one way over one of such conditions is like the data uh, of dependent variable here satisfaction was the dependent variable so dependent variable should be measured on a ratio on a ratio or interval scale so it should be a scale variable or metric data and your uh, distribution should be also normal the data should be normally distributed so sometimes these conditions are not met. Sometimes we have to deal with ordinal data, ranking data, or sometimes we do not have normal data. In such conditions, if you want to compare the groups, you can go for the Kruskal Wallis test instead of doing one way or another. So for that, we'll uh, calculate the Kruskal Wallis statistics using this formula. And I'll explain this formula in detail. So uh, you can see uh, this n thing is the total number of observations uh, in all this all the samples. So here we have used uh, n and t value. So t is the for each group what is the total sum of rank group wise. So for each group we will compute the t value. We'll square it and divided by nj number of observation in that group only and we add all such values for all such groups so this this uh, this part i'll discuss first and other parts you know based on n you can just uh, put the value of n and then you can calculate okay so let's move on and before i move to calculation for uh, this this portion let's uh, quickly have a look at the hypothesis so h naught is the, the different groups populations are identical and h1 is at least one of the k population is different okay so we'll reject uh, the hypothesis the null hypothesis when the calculated k value is uh, greater than the critical value at a given level of degree of freedom so let's uh, quickly move to the calculation part. So we have this uh, data set. We have four organizations. So we have to find out whether uh, these organizations differ in terms of the salary. And uh, okay, a travel agency wants to know the amount spent by the employees on four different organizations on foreign travel. This is the amount they are spending on foreign travel all these amounts are given these are uh, clubbed organi organization wise so we have to do Kruskal Wallis test to check whether these things are different the uh, is amount spent on the travel is different or not so for that what we have to do we have to first uh, arrange all these numbers all these numbers in increasing order okay and then we have to rank them rank these numbers so first we'll have the smallest number we rank it as one and keep doing this thing then again we reclub this in the same and then we add them group wise so let me take you to the excel sheet where is the excel sheet Okay, this is the Excel sheet and uh, so first let me show you the original data. 
So what we have done, we have uh, taken all the data in this sheet. So we have, these, are, these are the organization, one, two, three, four, and these are the values. What we do now is uh, we have to calculate the ranks. Okay. So what we have done, we have given rank to the lowest number and then increasing two, three, four, five, six. Here we have seen that these two numbers are same, 15,000, 15,000. The rank should be uh, seven and uh, eight. What we have done here, we have taken the mean of these two and substituted here. Because these are same numbers, we should get the same rank, 7.5. Similarly, we have done it here as, here it, is, it should be 13, it should be 14. But what we need to do, we need to substitute with their mean. So this way we will rank all the data and then again ranking is done. Now we arrange this data in the groups, the original groups. These were the, these are the original groups. So for example, this is for group 1. So this thing we have already done with group 1. So now ranks, we already we have the ranks for these groups say uh, these are the ranks so what we have done what we need to do is calculate the sum of these ranks so for group 1 sum of the ranks will be 50 we add all these ranks for group 2 we add all these ranks and we do this calculation for all the groups we're just adding the ranks so for group 1 it is 50 group 2 it is 18.5 group 3 it is 116.5 and group 4 is this, it is 68. Now, uh, second thing is, uh, we need to calculate the square value and uh, actually we need to calculate something like this. Uh, here, okay. What we need to calculate is uh, this value. This value we are calculating, the rank is uh, 50, sum of all the ranks for the first group. So we square it and divide by 6. Which is, 6 is the number of total uh, elements or observation in that group. So let me just go back to okay. So this is the this is 50. Then again 18.5 square divided by 5. So here it is 18.5. We square it, we'll get this thing and divide by the total number of observations. Similarly, we do this thing for all other groups. And then we add them, these values together, the value will be 3675.95. Oh, sorry, 3671.95. Now, uh, we put this value here in the formula and uh, we already have uh, k is equal to 12 by n and into n plus 1 here 22 and into 21 22 plus 1 and then this value we have to also plug in 22 plus 1 3 and we solve all these value using simple calculator we get this value as 18.08 now what is the decision criteria here the decision criteria will compare this value with the, the critical value of chi square at the given degree of freedom okay so, in our case, the degree of freedom will be total number of groups minus 1. So, how many groups we have? We had 4 groups and degree of freedom thereby it will be 3. So, chi square value at the at 3 degree of freedom at 0 0.05 alpha is this 7.8147. So, if our value, our calculated value is greater than this value, we will be we'll be considering uh, if our calculated value is greater than this value greater than the critical value we we'll say h naught is rejected okay so in present case our value is 18.08 which is greater than 7.8147 what we'll say we'll say h naught is rejected or we cannot accept h naught okay 
so uh, now uh, what we uh, mean by this uh, uh, this rejection of h not let's quickly let me take you to the h one so we cannot accept uh, the h not we are rejecting it what do we go with we go with h one at least one of the k population is different so among these four organizations at least one is different from other based on the their amount spent on the foreign travel now after that you can go for post hoc test there are some post hoc tests but this is beyond the scope of our course for right now and so right now what is the take away from this that we can say at least one organization is different or the population of one organization is different from others